Hello, my name is Valery Krapchuk, and today I'm going to speak about my experience of using recent MariaDB server version on old enough MacOS operating system. I work as a principal support engineer for MariaDB Corporation, and I often uh, have to work on different kinds of performance problems, deal with bugs, uh, and even though uh, MariaDB server at the moment is not formally supported at macOS, uh, I still would like to use the hardware I've got, I've inherited basically from my daughter who had got a new MacBook Air, M1 based. So I have this MacBook, uh, this one actually quite old, but still powerful enough more powerful than the rest of my, here it is, than the rest of my hardware. Uh, I do not like to waste hardware. So I would like to use it as I did before 10 years ago, basically when I worked for Sun and then Oracle Corporation, I had MacBook Pro uh, as my main working uh, machine. Uh, I still have some remembers uh, of uh, the power of D-Trace uh, that I would like to use for my performance studies. Uh, I'm interested in other tools Xcode uh, provides. So uh, that's why uh, I can and I would like to use this hardware. Uh, in this talk, I would like to share my experience uh, related to building uh, current MariaDB server versions from source on this old enough macOS High Sierra. Uh, I will speak about current formal status of macOS, some bugs, uh, and who work on them. Uh, and finally, I'm going to present several examples of using D-Trace utility, the reason, basically, why I am going to uh, dive back into the software and hardware. So uh, you should understand that uh, MacOS is formally not supported uh, by MariaDB Corporation, neither by MariaDB Foundation, in the sense that we do not do any regular builds, we do not provide packages, uh, there is no MacOS at build board, board at the moment. It was not like that uh, always, uh, at 10.2 times, uh, we even provided packages for macOS, but it's no longer the case. So it's not supported. Still, I found out that uh, one of the ways to install free software on macOS, specifically Mac ports, does provide uh, most of the versions up to 10.7 of MariaDB server. So somebody cared to uh, check, to build, to create some something probably usable and share it uh, inside Mac ports. Uh, just know that by default, MariaDB server means 5.5. Uh, and you have quite recent versions in all branches. So uh, first thing I tried uh, you know, after installing Mac ports is to uh, install different versions of MariaDB. I found out that 5.5 basically installs and works. MariaDB 10.6, on the other hand, uh, had not installed cleanly just two days ago for me. So port install failed. I tried to check why in this file it was not clear. Uh, basically, it meant for me that there may be some problems. Maybe the old version I use, maybe the tool chain, maybe some mistakes, maybe some bugs in port. I don't know. But I uh, am not ready to give up that fast. So uh, I decided to continue and build myself from current uh, source. I was a bit inspired by the fact that uh, there are other users reporting bug, bugs to upstream MariaDB uh, on macOS, and of these 82 uh, bugs, 60 were already closed, and mostly as fixed. And we also have a developer in MariaDB Corporation uh, who uses macOS for his regular work and cares about some of the bug on recent versions at least. His name is, uh, as far as I remember, uh, Dmitry Shulga. So he joined from uh, Oracle, or former optimizer developer there. Uh, he's quite active in bug fixing. In the process of preparing to this talk, I found several bugs. Uh, so among these 82, there are mine as well, reported, and some of them I even fixed. This one, for example, is probably closed by the moment you are uh, listening to this presentation. Uh, so it's a live ecosystem, and it makes sense to join. 
Before uh, building MariaDB from GitHub source, one has surely to install Xcode, uh, the one that matches your macOS version. The first problem for me was that uh, as my macOS, I upgraded it a bit, but it's still old. The latest and greatest Xcode installed, but does not work there. So I had to find out somewhere uh, which version to install. It was 9.4 probably, point something, providing Clang 10.0. Uh, you have to decide about the tool chain for uh, other tools uh, for building open source software. You can build everything from source yourself. But if you care to start faster, you need to rely on some uh, ready-to-use software. It can be either Homebrew or MacPorts. For historical reasons, I decided to proceed with MacPorts. One day, maybe I'll try with Homebrew as well. So you have to install things like uh, Bizon, uh, make, uh, git, and whatever, so with, uh, and dependencies. With git already installed, you have to clone the source code, and you should remember that for version 10.3 and newer of MariaDB, there are some modules, so make sure to uh, update them before proceeding. I also found out hard way that uh, by default, OpenSSL version installed on my macOS is version 3, and it's not supported by MariaDB. It was not supported until recently when this support was added. So no warranty that it works and it does not work in some bad way in some uh, cases. Uh, so you may have to install supported version of OpenSSL 1.1 does work. So uh, you should also follow some same practices for building from source. For example, build out of source, create a separate directory, clean up when you switch to different uh, branch. Uh, I would also suggest uh, it's suggestion to me uh, based on what I what mistake I did uh, to use as simple CMA command line as possible. Uh, in my case, I had at least two things to change for sure. First of all, I would like my versions to coexist, so I use different prefixes for different uh, major versions of uh, MariaDB. And another reason why I switched, not switched, but decided to proceed with macOS as well, uh, is to use Dtrace there uh, and to use uh, all the features for Dtrace we have in the source code still, specifically user-defined static detrace probes, you have to use this uh, defined, defined enabled detrace, and I use it in all my builds. Also, surely you have to verify the results, so find some time to run MTR test cases, test suite. With all these preconditions met uh, and all these same practices followed, 10.1 basically builds, works, and is usable. It's not supported already, but it's a great version and I love it. When I try to build 10.2, I hit my first problem in the client code. Uh, in read line, uh, I found out that his stand entry is redefined. Somehow it started assuming that it's needed from edit line. Then as read line was installed, I did it from mod ports. Uh, the redefinition happened and compiler complained. So I decided to fix this. I have just commented out second definition and it proceeded and worked, but I still reported it back. 10.3. With 10.3, there was no problem with read line. It actually uh, does not happen with any other version by, but 10.2. But I hit another problem with a clean build. When I tried to run MTR test, each and every test fails in one specific way. The check test case before test case does not proceed. Again, as you can see here, I reported a bug about that. Uh, you cannot really trust this build without checking, but you cannot check uh, with MTR test cases. So you have to do something about it. Uh, I suspect that it was still about OpenSSL somehow, but I would appreciate some, some useful output for that. Why I think so, you will see later. So uh, other than test cases, assuming that I do not run them, I just check myself. Uh, in 10.4 and 10.5, I've still got problems with uh, MTR test suite. 
So uh, besides that, if I decide to proceed and use my scale install DB starting from 10.4, I get crash at this stage, very bad one. Like I have partially installed clean database with a uh, user view, for example, not created. So it's uh, usable without grants, uh, but otherwise it's partially installed. So uh, before I proceeded with OpenSSL supported version, as you can see uh, in case of 10.6, this CMA command line resolves the problem. Uh, I had to, uh, to make it another fix. Uh, for 10.4 and 10.5, uh, pointing out to proper OpenSSL just helps and works. For 10.6, uh, there is yet another problem uh, that I've reported elsewhere, suggested some fixes. So it turned out that Clang 10.0.0 uh, does not support some of the uh, assembly code, uh, go to specifically in assembly that it should support, uh, assuming uh, from assumptions of, of the creator, so probably supported on Linux, for example. So I have to add some conditional uh, uh, compiling depending on specifically this uh, build of Clang. So if Apple CC is defined, I do something else, like for all the versions of uh, Clang compiler. So the problem is real, but it's resolved. So why bother at all? Thing is, I would like to use Dtrace. Dtrace uh, can be used in Linux if you use Oracle Linux. I failed to make anything usable out of patches that could be applied to Fedora, for example, yet another my testing platform. And Dtrace is cool. You can find more about Dtrace anywhere in Oracle documentation uh, from Brandon Gregg uh, and his famous toolkits uh, from. Uh, other parties from the book, from Illumos uh, uh, manual, whatever. A good thing with macOS is the trace is there. So you can just call it, and if you know how to use it, you can apply it. Uh, for those who follow me in Linux world, uh, I am a big fan of BPF trace on Linux, and BPF trace is modeled after D trace. Syntax is uh, very close, it's still uh, similar to C and AWK languages. Basically, you set up probes, uh, and for each probe, you can set up when it's hit a sequence of actions. So, like that. It's a bit more uh, complicated than BPF trace, but still usable. So, what features of the trace uh, I suggest you to use? First of all, with the way I build from source, you can uh, use uh, user defined static detrace probes or static trace points, and there are several in uh, MariaDB uh, with specific names like query start, query uh, end, and whatever. So for, for some of them, uh, you can actually find examples of how to use them in the source code of MariaDB itself. For example, if you will search for query start, you will see an example deprogram query time. And it's a... Uh, Lightweight slow query log uh, for each uh, SQL statement. Uh, there is a way to record on the fly time to execute it completely from the beginning to end. And in this uh, query time part uh, file example, uh, part of support files for detrace, you can see how it's done. Basically, I removed some copyright notice, a bit simplification, and a different formatting was added. Basically, uh, the program is like that. There is a begin probe like in AWK, so it prints some title. Then whenever query start probe is hit in MySQL, note it's still MySQL. Do not use MariaDB here. Nobody changed the probes for MariaDB from those in MySQL 5.6 that we inherited and still keep. So we uh, remember the text of the query, uh, basically that, and when it started and when it ends, we print uh, the query itself, uh, thread that started it, it's who, uh, which database the query is uh, running against, and we print uh, time in milliseconds, as far as I remember, to get some useful output. 
Besides static probes, you probably, again, if you follow me, you know that I'm a big fan of dynamic tracing. So my idea is that with BPF trace, with Linux dynamic tracing tools, with some impact, surely, and some problems, uh, I can add uh, dynamic probe, uh, some action that uh, is uh, triggered whenever we hit uh, every other line in the code. At least it's really easy to do. Uh, even with perf for quite more than 10 years already in Linux, uh, whenever you enter the function and exit from the function. So one of the first things I want to remember, recall, or find out about the trace is how to repeat this, so how to add user probes for specific functions. And I found out that it's really easy. Consider this simple D program, user func uh, point D, uh, that will show in indented way, so it's like a tree of calls. Entry, it's entered to, to specific function. Return, it's return from specific functions. I do not care yet. I do not know yet. I don't remember yet how to uh, present arguments of functions, how to deal with return value, but at least I can trace everything dynamic. So uh, with such a simple pro program, I've decided to trace every function in the process that is actually MariaDBD on my macOS, every function because I have a star here. And trace everything while running, I don't remember, probably a simple load, not a sysbench, uh, traced every function and uh, it worked. And I had more than 450 thousand probes, so these are number of different functions. With BPF trace, uh, in current MariaDB code, I have less uh, than 40, as far as I remember, yes, surely less than 40 thousand uh, potentially probable function, uh, probable functions uh, on Linux, and when I try to do a test coverage check with BPF trace on Linux, it failed miserably on my hardware with that many probes. Here it just works. It creates a big enough file of four megabytes over a short enough period of time, but I can trace everything. Moreover, while at Linux land there are different projects that are work in progress on how to represent graphically the results of such tracing, uh, the entire uh, instruments tool that is part of X-Trace with its uh, tracing abilities is built up on based on D-Trace and allows you to record run of the entire system or specific program for any period of time that you care about and then replay and study it at each and every stage. I am just a lame user of instruments for a couple of days, but I already started to use it against uh, MariaDBD and I see some uh, promising results. In any case, I am also able to add my own detrace probe so I can record whatever I need and still use uh, this ability of graphical user interfaces on top. I'm really excited about this part. So to summarize, what's next? Uh, I have to recall and study detrace internals, re-implement and recheck all Linux BPF trace scripts I have, and from what I see that uh, D-Tray scales better, I have huge hopes that the impact may be smaller, or I can use more probes, or I can trace more log calls maybe, specifically uh, with such a simple tool. I also need a tool chain, and I already have it. I have run in bench and everything built from sources. Uh, the idea is to study uh, some of my MariaDB server performance problems I hit in my practice on macOS. Uh, where we seem to have a good enough or maybe better instrumentation than uh, on any Linux. Uh, I do pro started to provide patches for some of the bugs uh, that I've reported. I am going to report more with 10.7. There is yet another bug that I'm not yet uh, seen, found, not yet fixed, so it's not yet reported. Uh, I'm going to upgrade my my, my uh, macOS and uh, maybe hit something new, resolve some problems easier. So that's what I'm going to speak and write about uh, in upcoming months this year. And my eventual goal, performance-wise, is to get my hands on some newer Apple hardware based on M1 or maybe M2 chip and run tests at scale. 
For now, I'm just preparing to that. So that's all from me today. I'm ready to your questions. If you hit a bug in MariaDB, do what I did, report it to MariaDB. Thank you for your attention. Bye.